Many of the appliances use propane gas to operate and the gas is supplied through the use of a 20 pound propane tank. A double tank option is also available. The gas flow is measured by an adjustable regulator mounted just off the gas tank itself. A gas hose connects the regulator to the trailer. You will need to occasionally refill your propane tank. To do this, first make sure that all your propane devices are off, like your refrigerator, furnace, and water heater. Then make sure your propane tank valve is turned off as well. Remove the hose from the LP tank and carefully set it aside. Next, remove the screws and the tank straps with a screwdriver and wrench. On a double tank setup, remove the center mount bracket and remove the tank needing to be filled. To reconnect the tank, simply reverse the steps. Attach the tank straps with a screwdriver and wrench, making sure the tank is facing the correct direction to reattach the hose. Next, attach the hose, getting it tight enough to prevent gas from leaking. If you have the double tank option, you can switch from one tank to the other with the black lever. The indicator in the center will show green when the tank has gas and red when the tank is out of gas. You should read the owner's manual and the individual manuals for each of your gas-powered appliances. If the information in these manuals is not followed exactly, a fire or explosion may result, causing property damage, personal injury, or even loss of life. Do not store or use gasoline or other flammable vapors and liquids in the vicinity of these or any other appliances. The battery sits in the holder on the front of the trailer. It uses a strap to hold the cover into place. You should always disconnect your battery when you're not going to be using the camper for an extended period of time. To do this, you should always remove the negative connection. It is also very important to make sure your tools never touch the negative and the positive terminal at the same time. When replacing the battery, you should use an RV deep cell battery and remove the negative terminal followed by the positive terminal. Then replace the cover and secure the strap.